Hello and welcome to this Corel Paint Shop Pro tutorial. This time we're going to be taking a look at the object remover tool. So we use the clone tool is a pretty standard like a stamp. You uh, can work your way through an image removing small objects, filling in areas. My example was uh, light shining through leaves. We got rid of those little highlight you know, speckles that were shining through the leaves that were distracting. We got rid of those, filled those in with some other leaves from the image. In this case, we have a couple of objects. We've got uh, a couple of trees down below, and we have this branch that crept into the image here when I took this shot. And I, I did have removing them in mind. And um, so I was able to take the photo, knowing that I could come here and remove them after the fact. So you can, on your toolbar, click your object remover tool. You may have the clone tool activated. It's just right underneath there. And then the uh, toolbar itself changes. This is a uh, two-step process. One is to select what you want to remove. In this case, I'm going to start with this tree. And uh, the second is to select an area that you're going to use to sample to copy in here. Now, one of the key things is this feather. If you, uh, you need to be a little bit wary of how much of that you're going to deal with. But play with the options, and you can see the effect that it's going to have. And so, uh, you know, you can, again, depending on... Uh, what you're doing in terms of it, is it an even or an uneven surface, is it textured or, or non-textured, you will have uh, uh, different effects that will make it either more or less obvious that a clone has occurred. Because obviously the goal is to hide something without it being obvious that you just you know cut part of an image out and pasted it somewhere else. So I've uh, selected this area because it's very similar, similar in the texture and gradient and similar in size. And then I'm going to apply that. I'm going to do Control D to deselect everything. And then, you know, if you, you look at it, if you knew it was there, you can tell. If we come in real close, it's um, a little bit smoother than the surrounding area. Now, you could just use the regular clone tool to maybe um, throw in a little bit of this surrounding texture in there. That's up to you, depending on what you're doing. And again, you can also play with uh, different amounts of... Uh, the uh, um, texturing here. Let's uh, try. I'm going to do uh, zero on that, and then Control D, and then we can take a look. It seems like it might be a little bit better in this instance, though. Again, it's not 100% perfect, but from a an image that I might um, have uh, sharing on Instagram or using as a computer wallpaper or something like that, that's not too bad at all. I'm going to, let's go up and do this area too. This is a little bit tricky um, because of the highlight and dark kind of three different textures going on here. But we're going to see what we get. So I'm going to circle this. Click the uh, object here. And I'm going to have to move my box up because I am doing more than one. And again, I want to do something that's a similar size and shape to the selection so that it's not having to do anything uh, like where it's stretching a small area into a, into a bigger space. The tool itself can be a little bit finicky. Sometimes you will have it selected and you will create a uh, you know a source box and you'll click and it won't actually fill. When I've done that I, I kind of just do it again and then it seems to work pretty well. I have uh, heard issues with smart blending uh, you can play with that if you need to if you run across some situations where it is or isn't working. So just keep in mind that that's you know this tool um, is trying to do it quite a bit automatically and so it can be a bit finicky here and there. But um, that is the uh, object remover. So please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when new videos get uploaded. And uh, leave me a comment for other tutorials you'd like to see. And I can always, I always love that kind of feedback and give me an idea of what people are after. You know, we can make other videos, just general um, photo editing, you know, start to finish, or if it's specific aspects of specific tools that you're trying to uh, get a little bit extra help on, um, just let me know in the comment below. Until next time, talk to you later.